X-A-V-I-E-R-T-O-S-O-N, Chairman for the African American Chamber of Commerce here in San Antonio, Texas. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Chamber, as well as our community partners, uh, San Antonio African American Community Fund, SAGE, uh, the uh, SACAM, uh, 100 Black Men of San Antonio and 100 Black Women of San Antonio, we welcome you to National Black Business Month. A little bit about Black Business Month, uh, started by two businessmen, a uh, historian and also an engineer. Uh, in 2004, uh, Black Business Month was started to support Black businesses uh, and also show their resilience and Black excellence in, in business. Uh, as you all know, the story history of, of Black businesses and working together to try to uh, not only support the economy, but also elevate themselves and sustain themselves along the way. Also, uh, it's a way to push a policy agenda that affects African-American businesses as well. Not only affecting black uh, policies that affect black businesses, but also to show support, to show, as our slogan says, we're stronger together. Uh, we wanna make sure that we galvanize the community to support this month, support black businesses in the area, and also across the nation. As you know, we live in a global economy. Uh, commerce is widely across the nation, and across the globe. And so wherever you can find a black business, please reach out, search, use black business directories, use our, our, our business directory on the Chamber's website, shop local, uh, and also find resources that could potentially support and benefit black businesses as we work together uh, to support the local economy. I leave with, I, I share this message here because I want everyone to imagine all, all members of the community thriving. If all members of the community are thriving, that means we have a very strong community here in San Antonio. That means no one's left behind and communities are elevated together. So at this time, I want to bring up uh, our member, uh, Deborah Omawale uh, from SACAM, our historic, uh, historian for the African-American uh, community here in San Antonio. Thank you, Xavier, and good day. So at the San Antonio African-American Community Archive and Museum, our mission is to collect, preserve, and share the African-American cultural heritage of the San Antonio region. So we're here to tell you that black business has thrived in the city of San Antonio since Reconstruction. We're standing here at Mark's Outing, which is just steps from St. Paul Square, that was historically known to have a host of black businesses. Unfortunately, because of Jim Crow, we had to come together to make sure we provided opportunities, services, and jobs for the community. Check out our website, sacam.org, and come and see us. We're at the historic uh, La Vita Arts Village. But more importantly, do your part to keep the history of Black business going here in San Antonio. We look forward to seeing you at all of the Black businesses around the city this month. And remember, Black History is just not Black History Month. It's just not Black Business Month. It's 24-7, 365. It is American history. Thank you. So my name is LaHuana Chambers Lawson. I go by LJ for short, and I serve as the founder and the CEO of Tacit Growth Strategies. Uh, I'm also on the board of the African American Chamber of San Antonio, uh, Chamber of Commerce. I serve as the procurement committee chairwoman. And uh, what I really am excited about, looking forward to the rest of this year and the next is um, the opportunities that we'll be able to expose black businesses to as it relates to doing business with the government entities here, uh, with nonprofit entities, with uh, private uh, entities all throughout the, the, the state and the, uh, the country. What we want to do with the procurement committee is pretty much eliminate the gap that has existed as it relates to black owned businesses getting in front of different contract opportunities with our local governments and uh, pretty much all the, the entire plethora of businesses here. When you think about tacit growth strategies, for example, if you look at fiscal years 2015, I believe, to 2019, uh, only about a hundred something thousand dollars worth of contracts were uh, awarded to black women owned businesses who were in the professional services sector. My company was one of those businesses who got a very small amount of money uh, between that four year fiscal year period. So if you think about that and think about how that impacts our black communities here, uh, it's, it's, it's almost impossible for us to be thinking about uh, social justice, racial justice, uh, environmental justice, um, home ownership, uh, education, childcare, healthcare, 
all the things that matter to us, all the things that uh, for any person provide us a foundation for a high quality uh, life. How do you have high quality in life if you have fewer than a hundred and something thousand dollars uh, coming into your community for just professional services? Now, if you look at a lot of the black owned businesses, uh, a lot of us are in that professional services sector. Of course, we do have a lot of us in retail and restaurants, uh, but what we do overlook for black women owned businesses especially is that a bulk of us are gonna be in that professional services sector which means we have a whole lot more work to do as it relates to figuring out how to shop local. How do you shop local when you can't necessarily go to a brick and mortar, right? So we've gotta be a lot more creative and a lot more intentional around how we think about doing business with especially black owned uh, businesses that are women owned businesses uh, who are really, if you invest in us, the return on investment as Goldman Sachs shared with us is exponential and it's lifetime. It's over multiple lifetimes, it's generational. So we've got a lot of work to do. I'm very happy to be here in this capacity. Look forward to you all shopping local, shop black. Uh, as, as Ms. Deborah Omawale uh, Jarman just said, black history is, is every day. It's not just one month, it's not just temporary, it's permanent. And we are Americans. We wanna take care of our Americans. We wanna rise the tide, make sure that everyone uh, enjoys opportunities. And we need to make sure that we invest in our black owned businesses. Thank you. Uh, how you doing? My name is Mark Outing, and I'm, a, I'm very excited to, to be a part of this. Uh, I'm a local uh, business owner, black-owned uh, restaurant, and I do agree that we need to uh, take this time of this month that we're recognizing uh, Black Business Month to be able to support those black businesses that are not only in the community, but surrounding cities throughout our, our nation. And I agree with, with those that have spoken before that it's something that I think it's a sad state when we have to come together and just recognize one month. We are a people just like any other people, and we do agree that uh, people should spend their monies with us. If we're providing a service that is uh, above standard service, that uh, money should be spent in, in black businesses just like other businesses. So what I would just encourage you guys to take this money and recognize that there are businesses out here, black owned businesses that the community should come out and support, and I think that it'll make the nation as a whole stronger. Once again, Mark out here, and I hope you guys come get yourself a big, fat, juicy burger. Very <laughs> 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 Mark. Great deal. And they are the best burgers in town, by the way. Um, next up, we'll have Ms. Renee Watson uh, from the African American uh, Business uh, uh, in Enterprise over at Bear County. Hey, Ms. Renee. Good morning. Thank you. Good to see everybody. Today is a special day for us on behalf of the Commissioner's Court, Judge Wolf and all of our commissioners. We are very actively supporting black owned businesses. This month, the national, being National Black Business Month in August, we are encouraging all citizens to go out and support African American owned businesses. If you need to find one, of course, go to the African American Chamber of Commerce, but you can also go to the county's website at bear.org forward slash SMWBE. We have an active directory of over 2,500 businesses listed. Uh, and you can um, do what you can to support African American owned businesses throughout Bear County. And we appreciate that. We're here for any questions, any support. Our phone number is 210 335 2478 if you need help with your business. Thank you. Last but not least, uh, I want to encourage everyone to go to African American Chamber SA.org. As you will see, we'll have upcoming webinars, uh, events, and resources provided to black owned businesses here in the city. Uh, not only that, we will be uh, offering up micro grants to our chamber uh, members to support them. Uh, as you know, it's been a rough uh, year and a half with, with COVID. A lot of businesses did not make it. A lot of businesses are struggling to sustain themselves at this time. And we want to give back to the community. We want to make sure that they have what they need or at least what we can provide to them to help support and encourage them along the way. So we will be giving away micro grants as well as some upcoming events. Uh, uh, depending on how things shape up with COVID and the Delta variant, uh, we will have an in-person uh, event coming up towards the end of this month, uh, but we're staying vigilant. So we want everybody to stay encouraged, support Black uh, Business Month, not only this month, uh, but also support Black businesses throughout uh, throughout the year uh, and around the years to come. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, and any questions? Tell me a little bit about the grants. Um, how do people apply? How do, I mean, how is it gonna work out? Yes. for both those interested. 
Yep, so, so <laughs> we put together the criteria. Uh, we want to make it super simple. So uh, just to kind of highlight right now to join the chamber, uh, if you have between one and five employees, there's only, it's only $75 a year. So we're making it super afford affordable for folks to join the chamber. But not only uh, is, it, is it for uh, black businesses that are part of the chamber, but also those who uh, meet the criteria. We want them to be a certified black owned businesses with the county. Uh, we want them to have the, the right business structure. Uh, we want them to be, uh, you know, we want them to have basically the, the foundational uh, aspects of a business. And then we will offer up those grants to those selected businesses. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, how many businesses in San Antonio could this end up helping? Well, you know, uh, according to uh, Ms. Renee, I think we have about 2,000 something odd businesses in the directory right now. Uh, so it's about 2,700, but there's about 4,500 countywide, according to the U.S. Census. So there's there 4,500 uh, uh, around the county. However, uh, we don't have that much money to go around. So we have a, a small allocation that we that we were provided uh, during the CARES Act grant uh, that we want to give back out into the community. So just a select few uh, that we will uh, work through and make sure that they fit that criteria and uh, make sure we, we offer up those grants to them. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you all so much for being here. Have a great rest of the day. Stay safe.